All right, uh, this poem is called Stephanie. It's the kind of day where you can drink the air. The sky is a crystalline blue, and the world feels like mint as I suck it through my teeth. Red leaves flutter past white clouds onto black pavement as trees weep crimson tears onto the frosted ground below them. The pallid green of fluorescence flicker in a classroom decorated with art prints meant to make it feel more homey, but today, nothing in here seems like it has color. Rembrandt reprints hold no warmth. Today, the sterile white walls peek past sports team posters and student accolades at empty halls. Today, the first thing the morning announcements told us was that you were gone. We all sit in circles because none of us know what to think, and the only time I felt like this before is when I was 10. It's 2001 again. Planes drop their cocked heads into office glass like birds, and we all expect the grown-ups to know what to say. Because they're grown and know how to deal with things like these, but all they can say is, I'm sorry, like it's their fault. I remember the last time we were together, we sat in a circle, sang songs, read poems. A kid did tricks on a skateboard while someone strummed a guitar. Things more important than class. When the teacher from a room below us came up to see what all the ruckus was, she took one look into the room and left because those four syllables had more power than any rules that day. Leukemia. The bell rang. You lined us up at the door, embraced us one by one, told us that you'd be back soon, told us that you'd always be there, that our distance is only space and time, but our relationships will always be meaningful. You were a warrior goddess, the brightest life I knew. You vibrated happiness, empowered us, made us feel able, that we were special. You said that your favorite times were early mornings. You'd push the table aside, read our papers on the floor of the dining room as light began to filter through the window shades. You said those moments gave you hope that in spaces between teenage angst and innocence, you found dreams and aspirations higher than the dome of heaven. Imagination so sublime that even if only a few ideas made it to realization, we'd still change the world. You told us to live life to the fullest, so we tried to when you were around. And every day you lived like it was your last week on earth, because every week it could have been. You told us that life was valuable, that while we are young, it's easy to think that we'll be young forever, but no youth is impervious to the grinding of chance. Time is just an accumulation of probabilities. One day you dodge the bullet, the next you don't. Aging is just the stacking of experiences, death giving in, finally, to chaos. The wind rustles my hair and our breaths rise (laughs) like ghosts. We huddle, hands together on a string. The balloons buck, fidget like eager horses before a race, tethered to the earth but straining to reach the sky. With a tremendous shout, we cry your tribute. Hundreds of primary colors bolt in bundles, give life to the morning like a red kite against gray clouds. Growing smaller, they dwindle into the distance. We tied messages to you on their underbellies. Now they carry them into the sky. So when, a week later, a hunter found the balloons 900 miles away in a South Dakota cornfield, bobbing in the wind like a bottle in the waves, which had come across the sky instead of the sea, he still found you and your message, our messages to you, how much we loved you, and your message to us, to everyone. Live life, love life, and you will always live on. Warrior goddess, I found you there, resting on the pavement, looking for all the world like you were asleep. Your head bent back, your feet curled under you, your colors were bright, your plumage still soft to the touch. I pick you up, move you off the pavement, dig a hole for you, a useless gesture from my culture to yours. I lift you in and your head rolls back like a child's doll, lifeless but living. I tuck you in and wish you well because the end sometimes comes like that, something you never saw coming, a wall of glass flying free as a bird, suddenly falling and gone. Planes and birds are really the same, meet sudden darkness and panes of glass, One moment flying, the next moment falling, but the truth is that flying is just controlled falling, and living is just controlled dying. Mm -hmm. Warrior goddess, you fought for life, sucked every moment to the pit, and wanted us to do the same. 
You understood that there is no time for second thoughts. Say what you mean. Live like you mean it. Fears are only temporary, but regrets last forever. Mm. So live deliberately. Mm. Live passionately. Live skeptically. Mm. Break rules. Hurt. Be hurt. Mm. Comfort the disturbed. Disturb the comfortable. Mm. Doubt. Mm. Question. Learn. There's value in everything. Uncover it. The world is not black and white. It's not even shades of gray. Delight in it. Explore. Play. Cause mischief. But be true to yourself and remember why you're doing it. Live deliberately. The leaves are growing redder by the minute. They cling to trees like desperate lovers, but eventually, I know, they all must fall. Tumble downwards like falling bodies. Make room for new leaves. Nourish the roots for the spring. And I wonder if every leaf has a story, like each of us. If every crimson vein is a smile line, and each auburn fold is a callus on an old woman's hand. Mm. I wonder this, but warrior goddess, when I float to the ground, I will make sure to glow like fire as I make my way home. Mm -hmm.